Bat fans. In a previous video, we looked at problems getting rasters into Geo packages using the QGIS user interface, the GUI. But now we can solve that problem and we can do it using the magnificent GDAL. So buckle up and let's go. Let's just have a quick look at the problem in action. So here I've got a sample map and I've got this raster called Relief. Up here I've got my project home and this is currently where everything is sitting. So I've got Relief in there and I've got a new Geo package called Geo Package Raster Fix. So if I pick up my Relief raster, drag and drop it in there, you would expect it to add that Relief raster and it doesn't. So what can we do about this, Matt fans? Well, if you'd like a deeper look at the problem, have a look at this previous video. But if you would just like to get on and see how we can fix this using GDAL, stay tuned. QGIS Browser has a neat little function whereby wherever I save my QGIS project file is going to be named the project home. And if I right click on the project home, I can open that location in the terminal. So let's do that. And there we are, straight into the terminal. And if I DIR, you can see that I've got my raster demo geo package and I've got my geo package raster fix geo package as well. So that's pretty cool. And I'll just put in GDAL. We're going to be using the command GDAL translate. And I'll just make sure that I've got GDAL working. Enter that, and you can see the usage right there. So GDAL is working, we're in the right place. I can grab that relief raster and I can hopefully send it where I need it. Now, whenever you're using a new command with GDAL or any other kind of command line interface, um, any commands there, it's very useful to go and have a look at the docs. So I'm just in the GDAL documentation and looking at GDAL translate program. So it converts rasters between different formats. That's great and you can see this is what comes up when we just type in GDAL translate in the terminal like I did previously. And we've got all these different um, flags that we can use in order to do different things to rasters. So that's pretty good. If you are getting involved in this, you might want to have a look at all the options that are available. As we're going to be using the geo package uh, driver as well, it's worth having a look at the geo package raster section of the docs as well. So you can see that we've got a lot of different capabilities using this particular driver and we've got some different options that we can set specific to uh, geo packages. So certain amount of creation options that we've got here. There we go, creation options. So we've got raster table, append sub data set, etc. So we're going to be using a couple of these. We're not going to use all of them, but it's worth having a look at the docs. Always a good place to start to see what is possible. So now we're back in QGIS and I've just copied this relief 32. I've just exported it from this map into my project home folder. I think it was in a different place, but it's better to have it here. And the first thing that we're going to do is get this uh, relief 32 TIFF into a geo package using GDAL. So I'm going to open up the terminal again and I'm going to put in GDAL translate. Now in terms of output format, I'm going to put the flag OF for output format and I'm going to set that to geo package. And from there, I'm going to give it the name of my input raster, which is going to be relief. If I just start typing it and then hit tab, it'll find what I'm looking for. So that's relief32.tiff. And I'm going to add it to a new geo package and I'll call it my new jpkg.jpkg. So that's the destination where it's going. In terms of creation options, I'm going to set this flag CO for creation options and I'm going to put the quality to 100. So we're not going to get any compression on this at all. And I'll hit enter and see what happens. Huh. 
So we've got a problem there with only byte int 16, uint 16, or float 32 being supported. Now I know that this raster is a unsigned integer and it's a 32-bit raster. I've had a look at the properties, so let's try and force it into that particular format. So I'm going to go for OT, which is output type, and I'm going to go for uint 32. And let's see what happens with this. And to that, it gives me the file size and it gives me the same error. So it looks like unsigned integer of 32 bits is not supported. If anybody knows why this is happening, please let me know. So instead, I'm going to go with a option that is supported, which is float32. So keep in mind, this is going to change the format of my raster to a float instead of an unsigned integer. But let's hit enter and see what goes on with this. And there we go, it's 100% done. So let's have a look in the background at what has happened here. And I'll just refresh this. I've got my new geo package which has been created and inside that I have this raster which just takes the layer name from the new geo package that we've created. So that's okay, but it's not ideal. It's not exactly what I want. What I would actually like to do is add this uh, relief raster to an existing one. So the geo package raster demo. So I'm just going to delete my new geo package and then I'm gonna go back to the command line interface. So I'll get rid of that. We've already got a relief in here. So I'll call my one relief 32 and I'm going to add it to geo package raster demo. So let's go back to our command prompt and I'm going to add a couple more creation options. So instead of sending it to my new geo package, where did I want to send it? I wanted to send it to geo package raster demo. So I'm going to do that. And uh, let's go with GPKG raster. No, raster demo, that's what we want. Okay, good stuff. So it's gonna add it to that particular geo package. I still want the quality to be 100 and I would like to add this creation option, which is going to append the sub data set. So this will append it to an existing geo package and I'll yes that. And then I can also use the creation option of raster table to give my raster table a new name. And I think I'll call this one relief new. Getting very inventive with my names there. All right, so if I hit okay with that, just enter with that. You can see that that runs through and it's done. So if we go back to our browser and just refresh it, there's our relief new. Excellent. Let's see if the append will accept a unsigned integer. So instead of float 32, I'm going to go with uint. 32 and I'll call this one new int and again only bytes int 16 unsigned int 16 or float 32 are supported so it looks like you'll have to deal with one of those particular formats for the time being again if anybody does know why that's happening please let me know but this is how we can use GDAL and we can get rasters into existing geo packages. So pretty useful stuff. A lot of this video came from the wonderful Class Carlson. So do check out his YouTube channel. Uh, it's worth looking at if you're getting into QGIS. Lots of cool tips on there. But that's all for today. And thanks again for watching. And don't forget to like, subscribe, smash that notifications button. And I wanted to say something else. Oh, happy mapping. That's the ticket.